Everybody that hard couple. I'm Kaylee and I'm Rob and today we're back to do a different kind of review for you guys today A24 just released a wrestling documentary type film right up my alley uh, right up Rob's alley called Iron Claw dude and any wrestling fan knows the legendary story of the Von Erics mm -hmm. this this story really blew me away unbelievable story it really it got to me yeah it's very emotional if you notice my like eyes are puffy yes. I was like crying yeah dude I swear <laughs> to god this film will put the Iron Claw on your heart. Right. <laughs> and squeeze, man. Mm, yeah. <laughs> My balls, too. Yeah. Let's talk about it. The true story of the inseparable Von Erich brothers who made history in the intensely competitive world of professional wrestling in the 1980s. Directed by Sean Durkin, starring Zac Efron, Jeremy Allen White, and Harris Dickinson. Okay, so Iron Claw, what do we like? What do we dig? What causes? I have to say, Zac Efron's performance in this oh, yeah. movie was phenomenal, amazing, very heart wrenching. Jeremy Allen White. Well, Jeremy Allen White was they, great. They too. all did an amazing job. Yeah, I mean, all of the brothers. Um, they were all their performances. They really pulled at your heartstrings, and you really felt for them that the brothers. The casting in this film was so mm -hmm. well done. Like, yes. I just feel like even though I didn't think these people looked like the Van Ark brothers, mm -hmm. they actually they're such good they actors. They embodied them so they well. They embodied yeah. them so well that mm -hmm. like Lip from Shameless actually looked like Carrie. Yeah. Eric, you know? Mm -hmm. so, yeah, <laughs> I really did. The actor that played Fritz, awesome job. Yeah, no, it he looks was, he like was Fritz. Really good. Yeah, uh, I I was told this story so many times from Dark Side of the Ring mm -hmm. to all these wrestling documentaries mm -hmm. to like all the wrestling magazines like that I grew up reading. Yeah, I don't know. It, it made all the stories come to life. Yeah, like, you know, it made the characters come to life. It made like the circumstances that we just read about or heard about actually come to life. The cast knocked it out of the park, and I feel like everything was just so well done. Yeah, I think so. And I honestly, because I'm not personally a wrestling fan, that's oh, yeah. Thing. You're always like this ain't my fine. No, well I don't mean ain't that disrespectfully. I just mean my like fine. it's not really my thing. Yeah. But to be honest, I really enjoyed the movie as it heartbreaking and sad as it was. I really went because I really like Zach Efron and Jeremy Allen White, those well, actors. I, wait a minute. So there was a scene actually where he sat up out of bed in the morning and he was like jacked up. <laughs> he was in like tidy white. Yeah, but I, I thought I, I thought I heard you in the theater go damn. No, I couldn't believe I didn't mean it like that. You I couldn't like, believe Zach Efron was like huge, like his muscles. He didn't look like the same person. I was like, oh my Jeremy goodness. Allen too, dude. He bulked up. Lip bulked up too. Yeah, he did. They they just got Zac Efron and uh, Jeremy Allen White looked yeah. insane. Yeah. I definitely wouldn't give him no lip. No. <laughs> He's gonna put you in the, the claw. <laughs> <laughs> the claw! You know why yeah. <laughs> The claw! Yeah. For me personally, as a wrestling fan, always hearing about this legendary story, I love how this film started out with like old school wrestling mm -hmm. from like the 40s. Yeah. Or like the 50s. Mm -hmm. It showed Fritz von Eric, yeah. black and white. Mm -hmm. when like wrestling was rough like all about like headlocks and yeah. rah, like yeah. big guys as you're watching this the wrestling is awesome like just, and with the surround sound in the theaters mm -hmm. just like the smack of the guys the hit of the mat the yeah. crowd all of like mm -hmm. the, when, they, when they hit the mat you heard like yeah like it was, it was very cool very well done so they, they showed like the origins of Fritz von Eric how he was like this like amazing nasty heel guy mm -hmm. and, uh, they showed baby uh, David and baby uh, Kevin mm -hmm. how they watched their father grow up he has like a fancy car he's like like, you know, doing well in the wrestling business and they grew up like idolizing their dad. So it went from like back in the day for Fritz's career mm -hmm. to more of like the modern day where the story takes place, present day. In the 80s, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where, or the late 70s. Oh, sorry, or, late 70s. Or, it was like it 70, was around that era. Late well, you, 70s, you were, you were right. early 80s, it was like, yeah. It was like 79, mm -hmm. but like Fritz, he owns the WCCW mm -hmm. out in Texas. And I always watch like old school wrestling. I like uh, the WCCW matches were great. Abdul the Butcher, Bruiser Brody. I love matches like that. And I grew up like watching matches mm -hmm. like that. Still do. Wrestling fans would know this every week it was filmed in the sportatorium down in texas so they showed the sportatorium they showed the parking lot the wrestling scene back then mm -hmm. it was really good at telling that story one scene i really liked was when he met his wife yeah, yeah. Uh, pam. The, yeah kevin von eric met um his wife to be pam and the way they met was really cute i don't know if that was like she pulled from real life yeah. or not but that was that was a really cute um like meet cute like story she, she was very upfront with him <laughs> she basically asked him out yeah i just so. thought it was cute and he was just kind of like oh yeah yeah <laughs> 
<laughs> I know what it's like to have chicks, you know, asking you on dates. It happens all the time, oh, all, yeah. all the time. And this sports room was so cool. They showed the matches, but they showed the camera angles. I was really digging. Like mm -hmm. they showed like inside the wrestling ring. So like you can watch like the classic view from outside the ring, like you're watching it on TV, but they asked you it like inside the ring. So you feel like you're like literally wrestling the guys. Yeah, that's It was like true. really cool camera angles. Mm -hmm. It kind of made the match come to life. It was really cool. And it seemed like the Zac Efron and Jeremy Allen White did some of their own like stunts in the ring. It oh, seemed no, no, like that, I, that was, I don't know if it was just a trick of the, no, the camera I, or, or digital or whatever. I but... saw interviews and they said Chavo Guerrero like trained them. Yeah, it they, seemed like they were really doing some of the moves. They basically they did a really good job. Yeah, they basically had to go to wrestling school for mm -hmm. this. So that I think they all have like, like Jeremy Allen White said he didn't watch wrestling, but he has like a new respect for it. Yeah. He, all the stuff that had to go into it. Mm -hmm. Like there's a lot of stuff you got to do. But what I liked about this story is like maybe as wrestling fans, we know about like WC CW, the storylines, the matches, but like we got to see, you know, the Von Erich's home life. Mm -hmm. And we didn't really know about that. So we got to see how uh, Fritz was really tough on uh, Mike. Mm -hmm. You know, he was like, Mike, you gotta uh, eat and get muscles. Ah. It was nice to see how like Kevin did look out for his brothers and how, you know, just just the like story of like brotherly love and how yeah, they, that was they nice. were like mm -hmm. all really close. So I did like seeing them all look out for each other. They were like each other's best friends. Yeah, you know? it was really sweet. So, yeah, I love the camaraderie they have between yeah, the four of them and how they really loved each other, even though their parents were like some of the coldest parents I've ever seen in a movie. Oh yeah, Fr um, Fritz was rough. Man. Terrible, terrible. Um, he, but, he, yeah. he didn't support Mike's rock band. It wasn't cool, but no. then I like when they stuck him out to the gig. That yeah, the... that scene was really fun. That was probably the most like uplifting scene in like the whole, I the most did... fun regular scene in the whole movie, yeah. Like I, I followed this story, but I didn't even know Mike had a band. Yeah, oh yeah, no. I, I had no idea mm -hmm. Mike was a musician. Yeah. I didn't know, I, there's stuff I did not know mm -hmm. that was in this movie. So if it's true, it's like I'm learning new stuff. Cool. You can even be like the most diehard wrestling fan. Maybe there's a few things you didn't know about the story. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh, I didn't know that. Like, so. I like the music in the movie. It was very, oh, um, little... it was very Rob Zombie-ish with the 70s, like 80s music. We got some Blue Oyster Cult. Yeah, Don't Fear the Reaper. And then they used, they played another song. It's from Rob Zombie's uh, remake of Halloween. I, I don't know the name of the song, it's a, but it was in there. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I know what you're talking about. And it was really cool to see my favorite like wrestlers of the 80s portrayed by other actors. Yeah, like, like younger versions of them. Yeah. yeah, that was really cool. Like Ric Flair. <laughs> yeah, we saw Ric Flair. We mm -hmm. saw Bruiser Brody. That's true, like, yeah. Was, that was totally amazing. Mm -hmm. But we also got to see like the backstage stuff. Yeah, of, that you like, don't see on TV. Yeah, but, yeah. like of what the wrestlers go, go through. through yeah. Like, do you remember how hard it was for like Kevin to cut that promo and David had to like yeah, jump in? Yeah, that I felt and, bad for him because I, I couldn't like to speak in front of like thousands of people like that. And you know, that's got to be nerve wracking. You do it on YouTube every day, Taylor. Oh. <laughs> There's thousands. Thanks to the five people that watch us. There's thousands out there yeah. watching right now. Hey, by the way, hit that subscribe button. Yeah, hit the subscribe button, guys, if you're into what we're doing here, because I think uh, it's pretty cool. It'll help. It's like pretty cool. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> I, I like seeing the character of Gino Hernandez, who, uh, you know, I, his backstory is on Dark Side of the Ring, of course, but he was in WCCW. Also, they showed uh, like everything down to like the smallest detail for like the wrestling. Only the wrestling fan would know he's in this movie. Kevin wrestling barefoot. That's true, yeah. You know? mm -hmm. or, or, or them fighting me three guys but like I knew they were the fabulous Freebirds. Oh see I didn't know that I guess he they had a legendary feud mm -hmm. you know like a re legendary three on three feud that mm -hmm. was amazing and they also told the story how uh, the younger brother they had an older brother who died when they were all very young Jade mm -hmm. so not so mu not much was known about that but they touched on that story too. What was also pretty cool is if you guys watch AEW Rob's a huge fan and I you know I watch it with him so in the movie they had um, a stand in for like to pretend to be one of the brothers for like, like a, one of the matches. Yeah. After they lost David. And, yeah. yeah, and it was actually MJF from AEW. With, you can't yeah. see him that well, but because I looked on IMDb before we went to see the movie because I was curious who was in it. I was like, MJF is in this, and I, I was I was hoping he would like have more of a cameo, but I can yeah. understand why they didn't want to, you know, focus too much on him. So, but that was pretty yeah. cool to see him in the movie. No, he did like a cameo, which is mm -hmm. cool, but like he played the character of Lance Varnerick. Yeah. And if anyone knows about, you know, the Varnerick curse that everybody keeps talking about, it's because these brothers kept on, you know, unfortunately, they kept passing away mm -hmm. one by one. Mm -hmm. And after they lost David, they had Lance come in. Try to pretend to be like a long yeah, lost brother, even had, though he wasn't related. They had to this him. long lost brother, and like the fans weren't buying it. It didn't go it didn't over work well. well so, yeah. so MJF was a good character mm -hmm. to have step in because he, he's such a good heel. He's a good heel. Such yeah. a good heel. <laughs> it's also a good story about just the wrestling politics in general. I mean, for Fritz to get a title match, he had to, back then he had to contact the NWA. Mm -hmm. They had to tell get him. Get like approved, right? Yeah, yeah. they had to tell mm -hmm. him like which, guy, which brother gets to wrestle Flair. Mm -hmm. So there was like a thing where, you know, Kerry's wanted 
to step up and Damien want to step up. And of course, I know like the legend about the legendary match mm -hmm. between Flair and Terry. Okay. But I didn't know the backstage story where they yeah. had to flip a coin to see which one was going to fit. Okay. That yeah. was a cool part of the story. I did I not know. I didn't know that either, yeah. It was a legendary match, too, Kayla. It's the only match I saw where a world title changed hands mm -hmm. on a backslide. Oh, okay. You know a backslide? No. <laughs> well, let me show you. It's a backslide. <laughs> it's a backslide! <laughs> Ah. As far as dislikes of the film, my number one dislike, and it's not even about the film really, I hated their father. The emotional abuse coming from this man that he placed upon those four boys followed them into adulthood and it really just changed everything for each of them because the mother was cold. She used, she used religion as a reason to be cold, which is a horrible thing. I, I, I did think it was kind of fucked up how he, he said, well, Harry's my favorite, then comes Michael, then comes David. I was like, what? And then the, the Kevin went to his mother for help and she's like, why don't you guys work it out between yourselves? Pray and work it out between yourselves. Yeah. I'm like, he's coming to you for help and you're turning him away. Just the fact that it's a heavy film. Mm -hmm. I don't have any complaints. I knew what was coming and I liked the way it was told. And it's heavy, it's sad, part of it's heartbreaking. But I will say they told it in a good way where like it wasn't like totally bad news, bad news, bad news. They kind of blended. Well told story. They kind of yeah. blended it so mm -hmm. it kind of flowed a little better. Yeah. But uh, it's a heavy film. So is your dislike you want more MJF? I yeah, I wanted more MJF. It was cool. I wanted to see more of him. As far as final thoughts of the film, um, I would have to give this film like an 8 out of 10. I thought it Good. was very, very well done. I think even if you're not a wrestling fan, if you're just an A24 fan, you like strange, different type of movies, um, I think that this is, is definitely a must-see in theaters. I thought it was very well done. I thought it was fantastically done. Mm -hmm. I, I knew all the stories of the Varnerics, but like this film still blew me away. They informed me about stuff I didn't know. And it's one thing to hear about these stories, but to see them play it out is like, really a great thing. Mm -hmm. 824 killed it. They knocked it out of the park. Every actor involved killed it. It's a good wrestling story, but overall it's just a good story about friendship, brotherhood, all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And they told everything from WCCW days to Kerry Vernara going to WWE. Eventually they had to sell to a, a Jerry Jarrett, Jeff Jarrett's father. They, they told the whole history and it was told so well. And mm -hmm. I, I really think this is one of the greatest films of 2023. It was very well I really done. Do. Yeah, it's, we definitely recommend it. This is in my top three. Oh good. I'm glad you liked of, it. Of like all the films I saw this year, I think this is in my top three. I give it like a 9 out of 10. Oh, awesome. I, I have no complaints. Yeah. It, it was a 9 out of 10. It was very well done. It was beautiful, dude. So if you guys have seen Iron Claw, please comment down below. Let us know your thoughts. Are you excited? Did you see it? Did you like it? Um, and you don't have to like wrestling to yeah, like it. Yeah, you don't have to like wrestling to like it. I, I enjoyed it. So it was very heavy. So just so you know, it's a heavier type movie. So if you're in the mood for something like that, definitely go check this out. It's in theaters. Make sure you're hitting that bell to be notified when we drop all of our new horror movie reviews, horror movie trailer breakdowns. Make sure you're hitting that super chat if you're interested in joining to our them. channel. Tell you what to get your claws on. Yeah, our, our merch. merch. We now have merch, guys. So if you're interested, also go to the main page. And next to our community tab is our store tab. So just click on that and you will see all of our products. It'll take you to our spread shop page. We have some good stuff. Too. Yeah. Check it out. Thank you to everybody who bought so far. Yeah, thank you so much to everyone who's bought so far. Um, make sure you're liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Once again, I'm Kaylee. I'm Rob. We hope you guys have a wonderful holiday and we'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Check out our Christmas episode. Yay.